Hey, it's Sean with Kiwi. Just want to go over the APU, power inverter, and bunk heater systems on our trucks real briefly, give you an overview of how they work. So the main part of the system is your Thermal King APU that's going to be mounted on your frame rail or your truck somewhere. It's a little diesel engine that draws fuel out of your fuel tank, so you need to have some fuel in the tank. And uh, this shares coolant with your big engine, but you do need to check the oil in it. So to open the, the cover, you pop those latches loose and then it should come open and then there's a little oil dipstick right here to be able to check the engine oil and if you have to add oil it would go in right here and it uses the same oil as your main engine does these have a master switch inside of here this little switch right here that needs to be in the on position in order for the unit to work if you're around the truck and it starts to fire up and you need it to shut off you can cut that master switch off and the mechanics commonly do that when they have a truck inside the shop so if your truck has been in the shop or if you've been uh, in the building and had it cut off yourself you need to make sure that that master switch is on for the system to even work so we'll uh, go inside the cab now and give you an overview of how that controller in there works okay so we're in the cab now and this is going to look a little bit different depending on what model of truck that you have we're inside of a t680 but the thermal king controller on all of our older machines looks like this it's got three uh, knobs on the front the left hand knob is your power button also so you would uh, press in on that to turn the unit on and the first thing that you're going to see is this red standby light right here that means that the unit is ready to kick on when the battery voltage gets too low to charge up your batteries and maintain uh, engine temperature in the in the winter time otherwise it's going to stay off it'll start and stop as needed to maintain that voltage so then when you need air conditioning you would want to take this left hand knob and turn it to the snowflake setting to activate your air conditioning then your center knob is going to set your temperature that you want your AC at and then the right hand knob changes the speed of your fan so that's air conditioning only now this has a fan setting that you can just use to circulate air but it has a heat setting that is not active our thermal king systems don't do heat for your heat you're gonna go to your SPAR heater so you want your thermal king set to standby so I'm gonna turn this one off And then I'm going to turn it back on and watch for that standby light. And then to go to heat, we're going to go down here to the SPAR controller. It says heater stopped and the temperature is set at 72 degrees. So when we touch that, it's just going to wake up the display. When we touch it again, it's going to say heater enabled. And then the heater has to go through about a two minute startup process before you're going to actually start getting heat. So these have a 10 hour timer on them. So 10 hours after you started, it's going to shut off. And both of these systems will deactivate if you turn the ignition key to the on position. So the key has to be either in the off or accessory position for either one of these systems to work. Then to get uh, power to your 110 volt outlets inside the cab, you go to your power inverter controller. And the green button, you have to press in to hold it to turn that on and then you should have 110 volt current to your outlets that's also going to show the battery voltage so a fully charged uh, 12 volt battery is about 12.6 12.7 volts so when your APU is off you're going to see that kind of voltage when it gets down to a certain level then the APU is going to kick on and then you should be seeing 13 to 14 volts in that area when it's charging okay so now we're looking at the area underneath the bunk and again this is going to vary a little bit depending on what model of truck that you're in but your thermal king unit is going to be underneath your bunk somewhere and that has an air filter in it that needs to be cleaned occasionally your bunk heater is also going to be somewhere underneath your your bed area and that has a single outlet where your heat air comes out so this needs to be not obstructed at all. If you accidentally put something in front of this, the heater can detect that airflow is not there and it's going to shut off. 
There's also an air intake on your bunk heater that's down there. Again, if that gets blocked by anything, it's going to cut off. So watch your air filter um, for cleanliness and also the cleanliness of the air filter that's in the factory installed AC system. The Thermo King AC has an outlet down here that's going to let some of the cool air out and then it's also plumbed into your sleeper vents where you're going to get cool air there also. So a few little troubleshooting things that you can uh, pay attention to with all of your comfort control systems. Your power inverter. If you ever lose the power to your 110 volt outlets inside, the very first thing to try is find your inverter box and there's an outlet on the inverter box that has a ground fault circuit interrupter circuit breaker on there. So if that gets tripped, it cuts off power to all of those outlets. The air conditioning system on the Thermo King is a little bit weak for very hot conditions. So the trucks have a five minute idle timer on them and that functions between zero degrees and 90 degrees. So if your ambient temperature is above 90 degrees, the truck will idle continuously for air conditioning if you need that to stay comfortable. But some things that you can do to kind of help that would be if you're driving, close your sleeper cur curtain and turn your uh, factory installed air conditioning system down cold and pre-cool your sleeper compartment so that when you park the Thermo King doesn't have to do as much work to get it cooled. You can kind of do the same thing with your bunk heater when you're looking for heat. You can preheat that sleeper compartment so that the bunk heater can keep up better and keep that sleeper curtain call, uh, closed. So hopefully this has been helpful for you to have a few tips on how to operate your systems to stay comfortable in the cab.